Happy Book Talk Tuesday. The last, well, recently I have talked to you guys about graphic novels and talked to you about how awesome they are and how I love Raina Telgemeier, but we could branch out a little bit because there are a lot of books that are, you know, neglected because everybody wants Raina Telgemeier. So I want to talk to you about some more today because really I could probably talk for two months about all the graphic novels that we have in our library, but I wanted to share with you some more. So I'm just going to go through them really quickly just so I can get a lot in your brains. There's the Sanity and Tallulah series. This is the second one. There are two in the series so far and they live on a, like a, a some kind of space thing out in space. They live in a community out in space inside something. And um, they are, uh, they're a great pair of friends because they are opposite in a lot of ways, which I think complements, they complement each other, but they're, they're fun. They have some great adventures. Crossover is now a graphic novel. So if you like the Kwame Alexander book Crossover, remember it was a novel in verse uh, about basketball and these two brothers whose dad used to play, like he was a really major big basketball guru. Anyway, Crossover, awesome story and it's graphic novel now. This was our pact is about these kids who uh, every year during like some Equinox festival, uh, these lanterns are floated down the river and the, the the legend is they just float off and they go off into the Milky Way. Well, these kids decide they want to know really where the lanterns go. So they make a pact. And the plan is that they're going to follow those lanterns and find out where they go. No one can turn to go home. And you, uh, there was something else. No one can turn to go home. And you, you have to get there. You have to go all the way there. And I can't remember what it was. There was another thing that you have to do. Anyway, of course... Things don't turn out the way that they planned because, I mean, what kind of book would that be? Okay, Pashmina is another one that you guys might want to pick up. It's about a girl who's, uh, she's got roots in India. Her mom came from India, uh, like left. They left India. She doesn't know who her dad is. Mom does not want to talk about the past and she wants to know about the past. So she's kind of stuck between, you know, where she is now and two different cultures and she wants to know and she finds something that might help her learn more about her past. But maybe, maybe she doesn't want to go there. Uh, the, uh, this is Edison Beaker Creek, uh, Creature Seeker. So Edison uh, thinks that his family, well, they own like a, a pest control company and he thinks they like get rid of roaches and rats and stuff, but they actually search for monsters. So yes, that is a problem. Problem if you have a monster, especially. Stargazing, I love this book. Uh, so it's a story about Moon and Christine. Uh, Moon moves into the neighborhood. It's a Chinese American neighborhood and they have very strong cultures, a, a culture there of uh, a, a Chinese culture that they want to foster and grow. Um, and uh, Christine just really doesn't like that very much. She doesn't like a lot of the things she has to do because she's Chinese American. Uh, but when Moon moves in next door, she's artistic. She's uh, spontaneous. She's real spunky. She just is fun to be around and they become best friends. Well, um, something happens to where Christine has to decide if she can be the friend that Moon needs her to be uh, during a time that would be really hard to, to be someone's friend. So um, awesome, awesome book. We also have Suey in the Shadow. You might want to pick that one up. The Catstronauts. There are five or six in this series right now. Another awesome series. Estranged might be one you want to pick up. And then I don't know how to pronounce this author's last name. It's XU. And he has a couple of different books out. Uh, they're awesome uh, adventure books. So if you want an adventure kind of mystery adventure kind of book, uh, then that's probably one you would want to pick up. We also have Cleopatra in Space. Uh, this series, it uh, might have six, I can't remember. Uh, best Friends, Real Friends came first and then Best Friends came after that. This is by Shannon Hale. Uh, and then we have um, Nameless City. Y'all, this one was so good. Uh, I, which one of these was on the Blue Bonnet list? But it's just a really great, great story that you'll, you're just going to get sucked into because it's it's awesome and a, and a good mystery adventure. And then Fake Blood is another one that you might want to pick up. So, so many graphic novels, you guys. Um, I hope that you will branch out and I hope you will pick some new ones. Just search graphic novels in the library catalog. If you do not go to Wilkerson, search graphic novels in your library's uh, catalog because I, surely... 
they have a lot there too. And if not, go to the public library because they have even more than we have. All right, you guys have a great day and go read lots of graphic novels.